What's up traders? Hope you guys are doing all right today. And we are back from a three day weekend. We had Good Friday. Markets were closed on Good Friday. And of course, through the weekend, Easter weekend. Um, but markets are always closed on weekends, right? Anyway, ending the day up $256.27, probably up right around $220. Um, maybe, maybe even, yeah, I think it's probably about 220 after fees and commissions. So for those of you who were in the live stream, obviously you, you'll see here that I haven't really made any other trades since we left off. I think I made one more. Uh, what time was it? So let's see on Boeing at 1258, right around one o'clock. I did come back and I made, I made one more. Um, but that was it. That was it guys. Uh, very, very few trades today. I think maybe I've got like, I don't know, 26 tickets here or something like that 28 tickets maybe um, so I'll, I'll go over them real quick uh, let me see here I think the first one was NCLH yeah so and I'll kind of pull this out here so you can see so this was a this was a very clean trade and as a matter of fact you can see here I got in pre-market right here at 905 I got in pre-market um, because I saw it losing a lot of steam and it was actually kind of working in divergence with the spy you know there was a little divergence here it was you know the spy was kind of moving up steadily and you know uh, NCLH was kind of tanking and so I got in here I started with a 200 share position and I actually had set an order at 1236 of course you know i had the live stream going at this time so you can go back there j just to confirm that if, if you feel the need to do so i actually had an order to pick up another 200 shares at 1236 and it came all the way up to 1235 so i obviously did not get the fill on those orders um, but i would have had a 400 share position guys coming into the opening bell i would have had a 400 share position and this would have been a much nicer move so anyway as you can see here I came here and I took profit here right at pre-market low. I took profit on the first 100 shares. And as it came down, I took another 50 shares off at VWAP. And so I had 50 shares left and I rode all the way down. And I actually averaged back in here with 200 shares. So I had 250 shares looking for the break of 11. I, I wanted to see how far down it could go. And I, I was thinking that um, if it could crack through 1091, of course, it would have room to move all the way down to 1036. And on those 250 shares, I probably would have gotten out you know, probably by like 1050 or the 1050 mark or whatever, but it started popping back. And of course I got out the 250 shares here at 1115. So, um, I think it had brought my average down to 1121. So that was a good, that was a good place to get out actually. Um, and as you can see, it came all the way back up here and then it just kind of been chopping all day long. So no real direction, no real momentum after that. Um, and I, and I, there was at one point where I really thought, man, I should, I should get in, I should try getting in on a reversal here, but you can see how whippy these candles were. I mean, look at this big indecision candle between 1139 and 1107. So, I mean, it's, it wasn't moving huge. Um, it would have probably been safe to take maybe just 200 shares, but I didn't know what the spy was going to do. And guys, we've been in that constant, crazy, weird, irrational, insane type of market where you just don't know what the spy is going to do. And you got to watch the spy constantly because it's like, we've been talking about, we've talked about many many times over you can go in with x amount of shares you can look at this chart pattern and think man this is just gonna you know this is forming a perfect reversal pattern here or whatever and then all of a sudden if spy starts tanking well then half the other mark market is going to start tanking with it but i'm really happy about this trade guys 90 bucks on this trade and you know really good pay trade i mean obviously you know this probably would have been a 180 dollar maybe 200 dollar win here if i had gotten filled um right there in pre-market with the other 200 shares but Anyway, uh, moving on to DAL, probably the best trade of the day. And I really, really enjoyed this trade. And you can see here, I went in short, 200 shares short at 2407 right here. And so I got in here and looked for the crack of this candle. That's pretty much where I got in. And then just took profit here, took profit here. I ended up adding back to it. You can't really see. There's a little red dot here behind this green dot but you can see here on the order book it was right at the break of uh 2350 i sold short another 200 shares so i had taken a little profit here 2391 i went short again at uh 2352 i bought 150 of those shares there and then i had to get all out at 2353 when it snapped back up so i got out a little here then it snapped back up but then it ended up coming down and then of course i got in back in again here at the break of 2290 got a little out here you know because i thought it was going to snap back on me but then it started resolving went short again there's another again there you can't really see but there's another little red dot there um so you can see i i uh went short 200 shares i bought back 100 of them at 2294 and then bought back another 100 at 2298 uh, but then i sold short again 
at 2286. Bought him real quick. <laughs> 2285 again there was a lot of struggling here again i was watching the spy i didn't know what was going to happen and you can see we ended up getting in all this chop here but eventually it did end up resolving in my favor and i got out all the way down here at uh 2243 bought 100 shares back and then and then i uh took a quick long here 200 shares at 2260 bought uh i sold them at 65 and then 61 and um let's see here so then i tried going short at 2270 went short here i guess at 22 is that it 2270 yeah and then bought 100 shares back at 2255 so anyway just a lot of you know navigating this choppiness here um but then as you can see on caterpillar somebody called that in the chat room so that yeah that was a chat room call and again when i say chat room i don't run any kind of you know website based subscription based chat room it's literally right here on the channel it's free so anybody if you're new watching this channel you can join us we trade live right here on the channel uh, Monday through Friday beginning pretty much around 9 9 a.m. I'm usually sometimes I'm a couple minutes late but it's it's roughly around 9 a.m. and kind of go over the pre-market activity and uh, what my plan is going to be but yeah we've got some great traders in the chat room and, and one of them called called out Caterpillar and I looked at it and it was like you know what this is making a steady uh, decline you know down so I got in you can see right here I took uh, 100 shares short at 115.21 I've only bought it back because the spy looked like it was gaining some strength and I thought man this could be the bottom you know right now I mean that I mean think about it this is this was the bottom right here I was getting in at the bottom guys and I so I want to be very careful and anytime you're you're getting in on a stock that's making a run like this I mean same works the same with breakout trades like if you buy at the top that could literally be the top and so excuse me I thought this literally could be the bottom so I went ahead and jumped out those 50 shares real quick but then it started coming down again and I got out here and I made like a quick I don't know it was a quick 20 25 bucks something like that but um I went short again here and again this was the bottom and it it popped up here came back here but couldn't break so when it came back up here I went ahead and got out so really I basically just paid for the trade today on Caterpillar maybe made enough money to buy a couple Snickers bars but if we go here on Boeing that was you know kind of another trade now I had saw, saw it had snapped it had come all the way down here and then got bought all the way back up and usually when you see a massive buy up like this there's at least a retest to some of these levels down here and so I went short got a little nervous got out break even on some of my shares but then it started resolving but I noticed it was just it, you know we were meeting some resistance here or, or it just wasn't breaking down quickly quickly enough so I went ahead and got out and you can see it kind of teetered around and then eventually flushed then eventually got the flush so um, anyway if I'd been a little bit more patient with that I don't know probably could have made a, an extra 20 bucks on that but you know for one trade one trade that lasted all of maybe like four minutes you know after commissions I made 10 bucks so made 10 bucks in four minutes not bad at all padded the wallet um, just to pay for some of the commissions on the day but overall again really good day guys um, didn't make a lot of money but really I, i'm pretty satisfied with it and we were talking about this in the in the live stream today um you know it, to, to be able to come into the markets you know we really have to we really have to be appreciative of this to be able to come into the markets and trade for you know one or two hours and pull two three hundred bucks out i mean are you kidding me that's we were talking about that today in the the, the chat how you know that's like lawyer money you know what i'm saying like <laughs> and all you're doing is as one guy in the chat said today all you're doing is clicking buttons okay you get to work from home click buttons and you know just trading with very conservative share size very low risk and and to be able to come in and you know make on average two three hundred bucks I mean you, you really can't be mad about that and really before this market got crazy uh, I was doing much better than that I was on on average making five six seven hundred dollars even some days so and, and even more than that on some days but um, anyway you know we're, we're just kind of in a, in a finicky market right now and I'm just gonna take what I can get so hopefully you guys are doing the same thing again if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and uh, joining us consider joining us in the live stream Monday through Friday uh, beginning like I said right around 9 a.m. Uh, would love to have you and for those of you who were in the live stream today again it's always good to see you guys look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow and hope you guys have a great night take care